Undying, developed by Venimals and published by Skystone Games, is yet another survival horror game set in a zombie apocalypse, but this one has a novel family-oriented twist. Undying places you in control of Anne Ling in the aftermath of a zombie outbreak in a fictional US city. She and her son Cody, a Chinese-American family with strong traditional values, are evacuating with the military when an earthquake strikes. Zombies attack, Anne Ling is bitten, and they flee back to their old house to escape the chaos. This sets up an emotionally heavy premise, in which the goal is to teach Cody how to survive, discover the location of another evacuation point, and potentially uncover the fate of Cody's father Jacob, all before the symptoms overtake Anne Ling and she finally turns. Now, it's hardly a novel concept in zombie fiction, but Undying works it smartly into the gameplay mechanics. At any time, Anne Ling can call Cody over to watch her perform a task, and, once he's observed several times and learnt a new skill, she can request he attempt it instead. This can be anything from basic scavenging, to cooking meals, crafting and repairing items, and improving his slingshot to assist in combat. As a survival game, both Anne Ling and Cody have health, hunger, and thirst meters to consider, but only Cody gains experience and can learn new abilities, along one of three skill trees each of which is tied to a specific experience type. The basic gameplay loop is standard survival fare. You explore, from an isometric viewpoint, smallish but dense locations, full of raw materials, food, health supplies, and basic gear to salvage. Of course, your path is often barred until you have the right tool. Think lockpicks, a crowbar, or an axe. So there's always reason to return after a story mission for more scavenging. You've also got an upgradable home base, in which you can turn raw materials into construction parts, which are then used for repairing or upgrading at other crafting stations, which in turn allows you to craft more complex gear. As you explore, you might also encounter and save other NPCs, some of whom you can trade with, or might allow you to access unique crafting facilities. Given the plot-restricted runtime, Undying keeps things streamlined, with a limited number of raw and refined materials to consider, and simple, sequential upgrades mostly. So far, so predictable. However, managing the well-being of Cody, coupled with Anne Ling's escalating symptoms, make for more complex and challenging excursions. Typically, going up against multiple foes is unwise. The combat is clunky, as one might expect from protagonists with little training, while Cody only has limited offensive abilities, even after a few upgrades, and he can suffer both physical and moral damage when things go wrong. Avoiding enemies using stealth is recommended, but, at least currently, this feature seems poorly implemented in the early access build, and appears to be based on distance rather than line of sight. Another alternative to avoiding hordes is using megaphone rigs to draw zombies into a single location on each map, but this requires resources, and you still need to make sure you clear a safe path to fall back along once you've triggered it. Morale damage can come from Cody's growing stress level when out exploring, physical injuries, and even Anling's response to interactions with Cody during key story moments or at milestones when he discovers a new skill. However, the available responses seem to represent several survival philosophies, so you'll need to balance Cody's current mood with long-term lessons you feel will be most useful. Thankfully, several opportunities exist, at your home base or within some locations, to briefly relax and engage with Cody, telling stories, playing music, or reading skill books you can find in the environments. The final, and perhaps most impactful mechanic, is juggling Anling's escalating symptoms. The primary symptom simply enforces a mandatory bedtime, think midnight, while the second, more diverse set of symptoms function as short-lived daily challenges. You must pick from one of three rolled each morning, each of which represent a loss of a human skills, but also unlock unexpected benefits from the infection. Examples of symptoms include forgetting how to craft and cook, but gaining increased movement speed. Another one was the inability to eat any plant-based meals, but gaining permanent satiety so long as your hunger meter was almost full. These symptoms become more detrimental the longer you play, increasingly forcing you to rely on Cody and the skills he has developed. However, they can also make handling more survivable than lethal while out scavenging. Bringing everything together is the unexpectedly solid presentation. The highlight is the low-polygon, flat-textured visuals that rely more on distinctive angular models contrasting colour, dynamic light sources and shadows. Undying looks good and runs well, but it always conveys gameplay information clearly and manages to be gory without feeling gratuitous. It feels appropriate for the family themes and a melancholic soundtrack rounds out the package. When it comes to the presentation, 
The only major issue in the early access build is the need for more voice work during story critical moments. Based on several hours of gameplay, split between one easy and one normal run, and dying could be something special with a little more polish and maybe a few tweaks. It's got a great narrative premise that gels perfectly with the mechanics, a streamlined resource and crafting system, and distinctive visuals. When it comes to things I'd like to see improved before launch, the most obvious one is the initial positioning for several animations that could do with some work, while combat hitboxes sometimes seemed variable for both the player and enemies. As someone who enjoys the narrative context and is a bit of a completionist, I'd also like to see the length of each day increased, maybe something that could be tied to difficulty. The story mode is clearly the focus of the experience, and you'll spend just as much time developing the relationship between Anling and Cody as you do scavenging and fighting, so slowing down the clock would make it more viable to get in a scavenging run or a story mission, and still have enough time to craft, cook and interact back home before you're forced into bed for the night. Yes. Whoa!
Thank mm -hmm. you.